Hey guys, I'm Styler and in this video I'm going to review the Elephone M1 in gold. If you should be interested in this phone, remember to check out the link down below in the description. So the M1 is available in black, white or gold, where the gold is the more premium looking version. The highlights are a metal body and frame, 2.5D curved front glass, very elegant and thin design with good build quality, off-screen fingerprint unlock that allows you to wake and unlock with only one tap on the rear fingerprint reader. It also has a 2800mAh battery that gives decent on-screen time, 4G LTE with band 20 support and last it comes out of the box with Android 5.1. For a complete list of the specifications, please check out the video description, I will list it all there. If you want to see the accessories, wall charger, quick guide etc included, I already showed that in another unboxing video and I will not go through the same again here, but if you missed it, you can look down in the video description as I will provide a direct link to the video. Let's have a closer look at the phone design. On the top we find the light and proximity sensor, a front LED flash for selfies, the ear speaker together with a 2 megapixel front camera. The phone has a 5.5 inch HD IPS display, which is sharp, bright and vivid. I would almost say that full HD is not necessary here and in fact the HD resolution will also give you better battery life. In the bottom we find the menu home and back buttons which all do not light up so in the dark they can be a little bit hard to find. And uh, unfortunately the phone also doesn't support any kind of notification LED so that's something you have to deal with. On the back side, which is non-removable and made of matte metal, we have a 13 megapixel rear camera together with a single LED flash, which is just average strong, and we also find a noise cancelling microphone. We see the fingerprint scanner, which works okay after you learned a finger four times for better accuracy, but uh, it could in my opinion be bigger and a bit faster to react. Inside the phone we will also find a 2800mAh battery. And last we see the Elephone and CE logo. In the bottom of the phone we find a micro USB port, the microphone and the speaker grill. And the sound quality from the speaker is not really good, in my opinion too metallic for my taste. On the right side we find the volume rocker together with the power button and they both feel solid. In the top we find the 3.5mm headphone jack which provides loud and good sound. And last on the left side we find a triple card tray that can contain two micro sims plus one micro SD card. So with this phone you can actually use three cards at the same time. Thumbs up Elephone for that, as that is something many users actually want. So let me open up the triple card tray and let's have a close up. And the phone has what they call 2.5D curved glass, so uh, here in the edge it will be curved. Maybe you can see it here in the light. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner. So let's go and find the app and we see here fingerprint, so let's open up. And uh, what you see here is that uh, I learned four times my finger. And uh, why I did this is because uh, the accuracy will be better if you learn the, the finger uh, several times in different positions. Try to, to use the tip and also the side of the finger and so on. So if you want to only wake the screen, you can just tap on the back like this one time and it will uh, wake up, let's try. And um, that's the same as double tap to wake. But if you want to wake and unlock in one go, you do the same basically, but you hold your finger. Let's try this. And you can see it's working. Let's try once again. Yeah. And a third time. Yeah, so the only complaint I have about it is that it's not the fastest uh, to unlock. You see, it takes a little bit of time. 
when I press and hold, it takes about half a second before the display is actually unlocked. I would say it works six or seven times out of ten times I tried, and uh, if it doesn't work the first time, I just place my finger a little bit more to the left because sometimes you don't hit the, the fingerprint scanner correctly and then it will of course not work for example if I just did like this then it will not work you have to place the finger pretty precise here on the center of the fingerprint scanner but because it's so small it's kind of hard sometimes so that's the only complaint I have that the fingerprint scanner is a little bit too small and uh, it could be faster so let me again try just to wake with one tap and let's try to wake and unlock in one go. Yeah. Let me try with another finger not learned. So this one here will wake but it will not unlock. You have then to input your code. And the phone comes with Elephone's own UI, and you can see that here. This UI also supports themes, but it does not feature any app drawer. All the apps will just be placed here in folders. But as you can see, it's pretty smooth and fast. And here you can also click to see the weather. We have some settings for wallpaper, personalization. So the phone also support different themes from the online store and local themes. But if you for some reason don't like this launcher, you can actually switch the launcher to the stock launcher. Let me try to find it here somewhere in home. So you can see here the telephone launcher or normal launcher. Let's try to switch to the launcher tree. Yeah, and you can see here the launcher looks normal with an app drawer. Let's have a look inside the camera app. So the camera app is very stock and standard. Let's see the settings. We have a 13 megapixel rear camera. See that here. And um, in the video mode, you can record videos in full HD or HD. Fine will be full HD. We have support for picture in picture, HDR, panorama, multi angle view, and so on. Let's see some samples. And uh, the rear camera actually is pretty nice, I would say. Gets a lot of nice details, you can see it here. Not bad at all, in my opinion. While the front camera is actually not so good, and uh, the front LED flash, you see here, it's actually not useful at all, I would say. It's just a gimmick because the LED is so weak that it only gives very little light, so not really good. And uh, as always, I will provide some samples below in the video description. I will place a link and upload some to Mediafire so you can see the full resolution of the pictures and be the judge yourself. Let's see here a picture in the dark, only with the LED flash. Okay, and let's try out also to turn on the torch. And the, the LED is not the strongest, a little bit weak I would say actually. You can see it doesn't give that much light and we are talking about a single LED. Let's also check out the viewing angles. And you can see the display has excellent viewing angles. No problems at all. Looks really good. Of 
Regarding the connectivity, you can see I uh, have enabled Bluetooth. I'm on uh, Wi-Fi and using dual SIM. So while I tested the phone, I had no issues with the Wi-Fi or network reception. And the Wi-Fi range is in fact pretty good and also stable and fast. So um, you can download pretty fast from the Play Store and so on. The phone of course support 2G, 3G and also 4G. But right now I'm only using two 3G cards. When one is using 3G, the other one will be on 2G. As the phone is dual SIM, dual standby. Let's try out a test call. Let's see the proximity sensor. And let me try to put the ear speaker up to the microphone so you can hear the volume and quality. You have zero new messages. One saved messages. To listen to today's messages, press one. To listen to your new messages, press two. Okay, so that was the sound here from the ear speaker and the ear speaker is loud and clear. No issues at all. So regarding the sound quality, if you use earphones uh, with the 3.5 mm headphone jack, the quality I would say is okay. It's not super, but still okay. And um, the volume is pretty loud. You can hear the sound pretty clear and the bass is also good. So there are no issues with that. And let me show you the quick toggles and the settings. We can switch the launcher. We have display with mirror vision support. We have the storage support also SD card, micro SD card. And right now I'm using a eight gigabyte card. We see the total space for the internal available. We have the apps. Let's see the RAM consumption. And you can see we have 1.4 gigabyte of RAM free. Not that bad system, only about 300 megabyte. Let's see, cached. So the phone totally has two gigabyte of RAM and that's more than enough. The phone is of course multi-language, so everything will be supported inside here. And let's see about, about phone. We see the build number, we see the kernel version, Android version, model number, has support for OTA, wireless updates. So that's it for the settings. There are no special settings for off-screen gestures or double tap to wake. As shown before, you can wake the screen with one tap on the rear side, so that's why. In the rest of the video, I'm going to run some different test apps, show you some results and end this with a game test and my list of personal pros and cons. So if you want to know more, stay tuned.
So we are now in the end of the video and let me tell you about some of the good and bad things about this phone. First the good, it has an amazing design and good build quality. It has a good display, sharp, bright and with nice viewing angles. The rear camera is good, while the front camera unfortunately is pretty bad. It has LTE 20 support, that's good. It has very good GPS with GLONASS support and it's stable and fast. The SoC could maybe be better, but still it performs fine with most 3D games. For example, Need for Speed was smooth and fast. About the bad things are that um, the sound from the built-in speaker is not really good. It is way too metallic. The front LED is a nice gimmick, but just too weak to be really useful for anything. The fingerprint scanner works 7 out of 10 times for me, but could be more accurate and faster to unlock. There's no notification LED and no backlight in the touch buttons. It only has about 5 sensors built in. There's no gyroscope or e-compass, so Google Cardboard will also not work. And last, the LED flash on the backside is also kind of weak. And at first glance it looks like a dual LED, but is in fact just a single LED. Well guys, that's it for the review. Remember also to check out my blog. You'll find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.